Hello, in this presentation I want to show you, how to insert drawing tables with VBA macro. I will open the drawing from this folder. As you can see, the drawing contains, a sketch and a frame. Now, from the folder, I will run the first macro in the drawing. As you can see, during the macro execution, in the tree are inserted parameters first. Next, the drawing table is inserted in position, filled and linked to parameters from the tree. When parameter value is changed, same does the text from table. The table contains merged cells, different text, format, size, alignment. From the folder, running the second macro, will insert another drawing table. This is an example drawing table. Sometimes, we need such tables, to indicate better the conditions, regarding to different elements. Till now, all I present can be done, in the usual way, by inserting drawing table, and format it, cell by cell. But, there is one thing, you can't do it without VBA, and this is the reason I make this presentation. If you notice, in both tables are missing cell borders. This is something, you can't obtain without macros. So the only usual solution, to obtain this without macros, is to draw a table, line by line, and remove lines where they are not needed. Next, to add text in cells where required, and fix, lines and text together. Of course, this is a hard way, taking a lot of time. If I want to replicate, this drawing table, I find that I do not have any options to do this. Here is no option to remove the border between those cells. In conclusion, only with VBA macro, I can remove unwanted cell borders. To show you, how this can be done, search in your local Kasha setup folder, for v5automation.chm file, and open it. Search for string, drawing table, next select from listed topics as I shown. Scroll down, till you find the presented picture. Here are explained, how to set border, with instructions. The title block, can be putted in working views or sheet background as needed. Next, I will show you the code, behind this two macros. First, are define the parameters with their values. Then the drawing table with name, lines, columns, and insertion point. Next, 
are specified which cell slash ranges will be merged. Then are defined the rows size. Next, set size for each column. Then, link the parameters values to cell content. Then for each cell, define the text, font, size, alignment, properties, and border. I define text alignment as combination of left, right, center, with top, middle, and bottom. Also, text properties can be defined as bold, italic, underline, overline, strike through, subscript or superscript. Next, are defined cells borders, according to the rules. Next, the inserted parameters are linked to cell content. Next, I will present you, the second macro, but this time opened with notepad, for better viewing. After the opening instructions, it will be created a new drawing table with dimensions, rows, and columns defined as presented. Next, instructions for name, anchor point, and merged cells, followed by rows and column sizes. Next, I define the content for each cell, including, font, size, alignment, properties, and border type. This is an easy and quick way, to create drawing tables, where you need to remove cell borders, not possible in any other way. However, there are some other things, for those at this time I don't have yet a solution, with macro code. To color the text inside a cell, string by string, see presentation. Adding a leader and set the symbol shape for it. Setting different colors and sizes for strings inside a cell. Adding a frame to text. Also using a formula to define subscript inside a string. If you know the code for doing these, please share it. Otherwise, when I will figure it out, how to do it, I will make another presentation. But all this missing code, can be done in usual way. I hope you will found interesting this presentation.